Welcome back. With me, I have uh, Hannah Harnick as a uh, willing volunteer. I was talking earlier about the structured light field around each person that contains all the information about what goes on inside the body and that also communicates to the body about everything outside of it. Uh, there's an additional principle I would like to explain and that is the principle of direct resonance. So we have two substances of similar molecular frequency come in close proximity to each other. They will tend to vibrate sympathetically through harmonic resonance. So this effect will produce a relaxation response in the body. One of the easiest ways to measure this response is through a technique I use in my office called autonomic response testing. This technique utilizes changes in the signaling of the autonomic nervous system when the body is exposed to different agents, you know, like mercury, cadmium, and different foods. These changes will then produce either an upregulation or downregulation of this muscle spindle in the arm. You can measure the changes then through other muscles, but I just use this muscle for convenience. So let's do a check for a common toxin, uh, the heavy metal, mercury. So here you see vials of the different metals. So we're gonna just pick out the vial for mercury, and we're gonna then test her and see where in the body is mercury. So first, we're just going to have her stretch his arm straight up. Just keep the arm really strong. Perfect. Then I'm going to take this vial, just going to put it in this, what's called a signal enhancer. So it actually enhances the signal of the frequency that's in the vial. And it's a frequency then of mercury. It's a homeopathic vial. So just stretch his arm straight up. And so I'm going to be testing her while I'm holding it and see if there's any area in the body where the arm then goes see right here the arm then goes weak so which means that there's a direct resonance between mercury that's in her actually this is a thyroid and then also the mercury that is right here so then we've been able to pinpoint that there's mercury that is putting stress on her thyroid and that is a quite common issue because a lot of us deal with silver fillings we have amalgams uh, and when we chew, when we drink something hot, actually you have mercury vapors that are released. And these vapors tend to actually accumulate them in the thyroid. So it is a common issue for a lot of people then creating issues with hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism. Or you can also have autoimmune disorders like Hashimoto's, Graves, etc. Uh, due to accumulation of heavy metals here. So what we're going to do then as a next step uh, is that I'm going to have her then actually hold her hand right over the thyroid and while I'm then lasering in the information. I'm, all I'm doing it's, it's just a little laser beam and as you see it's just a laser right here and by her holding her hand there it creates a focus in that area so that the body will look extra hard for the mercury in that area and support its removal. Uh, the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, they actually issued the statement warning of the dangers of mercury exposure, citing 10% of women of childbearing age have mercury levels that are putting the fetus at risk of autism, ADHD, neurodevelopmental delay, learning difficulties, and behavior problems. And you have common sources of mercury as the amalgam or silver fillings that I mentioned earlier in our teeth, but you also have flu vaccines and other types of vaccinations, and environmental exposure, like our energy-saving light bulbs. So, and you can do the same for any toxin. Let's say, for instance, you have formaldehyde. So here you have different chemicals, right here. And you can pull up the formaldehyde and you can do the same type of testing for formaldehyde. And you can just test and see. So just stretch his arm straight up and see if there's a formaldehyde. And you see there's some formaldehyde in the liver. And then you can do the laser energetic detox in, in that area. Formaldehyde is a cancer-causing substance that is used to add permanent press qualities to clothing and draperies. 
as a component of glues and adhesives and as preservative in some paint and coating products. And you have sources of formaldehyde uh, in the home include things like building materials and also smoking. You have formaldehyde in the paper and the cigarettes that you smoke, household products and the use of unvented fuel burning appliances like gas stoves or kerosene space heaters. So this technique, it cannot only be used then for detoxification because that's actually what happens when we're using the, the laser, but it also can be used to balance and to activate things like hormones, enzymes, neurotransmitters, and much more. So uh, I want you to see how when we come back.